Vice, you saved my people and our lands. I don't know how to repay you. We were wrong. We should never have summoned the giant. With great power, you need great responsibility. The Gigas are far too dangerous. My spider sense is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we now realize that, and I am truly sorry. Vice, you have proven yourself worthy. I entrust our sacred green stone unto you. Use it to achieve peace. We have faith in you. Thank you, King Ixataka. We will do our best. The Vluans have abandoned their encampments to the north. Now that they have left, perhaps you might be able to tra through the, travel through the Iron Net. If we pass through there, we'll reach the North Ocean. That will take us back to Valua. The yellow crystal should be hidden there. Okay, everyone. Guess we'll head back to Valua. They're really upset with us now. Getting the yellow crystal isn't going to be easy. Sounds dangerous. Perhaps you ladies would like to stay behind here in Ixataka? It's an, it's an island paradise. We've got exotic foods, nectars, waterfalls, and beautiful sunsets. That said waffles, not waterfalls. Beautiful waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. What do you say, Aika? Who knows? Maybe you'll find some more ghosts, too. Oh, look at that face. Oh. Look at that vice face. Look at it. Look like, at that position. Oh. He's just like, oh. <laughs> vice! Don't even joke about them around me. You know I'm afraid of them. I've had enough ghosts to last me for a long time. Oh. <laughs> and and Dracula was just kind of nodding his head in the back. Probably listen to a hip hop song. Do we need to go return some moonfish? I don't think we, we don't really have the chance to yet because we can't really get there from North Ocean. Okay. King Xotaka spoke of an iron net to the north of this continent. Yeah. But if the Valuans escaped to the north, that means they probably had to take down the Iron Net, right? That means we'll be able to reach North Ocean that way. We'll head straight to Valua from there. It's a pretty short section in North Ocean, so I think we can do it and then stop just before the next section just to give you a little teaser. Let's do it. You might want to you might want to get some more water. Is that so? Yeah. Is there gonna be some a lot of drac, a lot of drachma? Oh, a lot of drachma. Okay. We good. Oh. All right. I'm gonna take the helm this time. Did it. <laughs> take <job>. the wheel. <laughs> you did it. Yay. I will uh, apologize in advance. I've been told there's going to be a lot of drachma, and if my voice gives out, I'm sorry. But I got a cup of water over here. Should make things just fish! <laughs> a little easier on me. Oh. oh. We got a discovery. Mysterious rings. Huge geometric shapes that mysteriously appear on the ground overnight. Aliens! Reports have been very frequent lately. Old records speak of a similar phenomenon and mention two or three glowing balls of light that appear with the nights before the shapes are found. Aliens! Aliens are in skies of Arcadia Cannon! It's Cannon! It's Cannon! It's Cannon! It's cannon. It's cannon. Oh crap. Oh. Vice is not doing too good over here. Oh. No, he's not. How did that happen? I uh, forgot to heal after the boss fight. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're, we're gonna, gonna sac. Shoot. No, we're not. We're gonna sacrilin. Because that will heal everything automatically. Let's just let this play out. For funsies. Okay. 
I think he's dead. Oh, something's happening. Hey, that ship looks weird. The bloodlust. Looks like a whale. Ah. Cold ocean starfish soup, Valuan chicken with onion sauce, and a mountain of flying fish. This is wonderful! The ship that we hit yesterday really had some great food on board. Captain Gordo. A ship armed with gigantic harpoon has been sighted off the port side. I see. Good, good. Another ship full of goodies is there for the taking. I'll take on anyone if I think they have good food on board. Well, don't take on the little jack then. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they have something that goes good with fish. Well, that's a thumbnail if I've ever seen. <laughs> Vice! There's a ship heading right for us! And they're black pirates! I know that flag. It belongs to a pirate named Gordo. He is known as the Gourmet Pirate. He attacks other ships and steals their food. He rarely uses his cannons because he's afraid he'll burn the food on the other ships. He'll do anything for a good meal. As far as black pirates go, he's a strange one. You're telling me. He's getting awfully close. They're boarding us! They're challenging us to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat! Well, while they're here, we might as well kick their butts. That's the spirit. Yeah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Mad Chef. He fights with a fork and knife. Yup. He fights with a fork and oh knife. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't even really pay attention to the Mad Chefs. They're pretty silly too. Oh my goodness. Yup. They're Waluigi. <laughs> that could be me. <laughs> I've got a hat in my car. No, the hat's at home. But I've got uh, an apron and neckerchief in my car. Oh my goodness. It really is you. <laughs> Steven, your food is terrible. <laughs> People like my food. Well, that poisoned me. That sounds like a personal problem. Obviously it's important to take out the Mad Chefs first, because they're, they're gonna be healing Gordo if we attack him. One of those deals. Hmm! Glad I curied, huh? It's good. It's all good. Yep. Everything's fine. You did it. Most certainly did. The music becomes triumphant. Um. What? He did a thing. Okay. You're gonna, gonna thing. attack. You're gonna charge. You're gonna red. You're gonna focus. You're gonna blue. And you're gonna tackle. Pretty simple fight. So it seems. Yep. Is this a bounty? It is. So uh, we'll also be getting some money for it. It's also unavoidable, so. Yeah. Also, as you'll see when the fight is over, which should be right now. You certainly are. It looks like we won. Indeed. Ooh. 
We got a cham. We got a cham and a lot oh, of fish. Oh, wow. And a lot of fish. <laughs> That's a lot of fish. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> we give up. You and your crew fought well. Your name was Vice, right? I don't think I've ever seen you in North Ocean before. This is the first time I've ever been to North Ocean. For now, we're riding aboard Captain Drachma's ship, the Little Jack. Drachma? Wait. Drachma, were you ever in North Ocean before? What if I was? Then it is you! I've heard all about you! You're the sailor that is chasing the Arquail Rectum. If I remember correctly, it was to avenge your son, right? Oh god, that belly button. Enough! Oh boy. I don't know what stories you've been hearing, but I suggest you keep them to yourself. And unless you want me to throw you overboard, you should get off my ship. Um, that's quite alright. We'll be going now. And what are you staring at? Are you going to stand there all day? Get back up to the bridge before I throw you overboard. Yes, sir. Uh, this will work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> Ragnum. Ragnum you do not do that, sir. Fish! Imagine the possibilities! Hey! Oh, hey! Let's go! We hey! We doing okay over there? Let's go! Alright. Then we're back to Valua. Looks like we've reached Valuan airspace. So this is where the yellow crystal's hidden, right? Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these lands, along with the yellow gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the Fluins already, we should be extra careful, right, Captain? Captain, what's wrong? Ah, uh, um, nothing. I'm sorry. Were you saying something? How could you not hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing really. It wasn't anything important. Uh oh. I sense sadness coming. It certainly seems that way. I think that's another fighting ship. But let's just check to make sure where'd it go. Famous fighting ships. Hey there, buddy. North Ocean is a vital trade route that brings a that brings a wealth of new goods from the new continent back to Valua. Unfortunately, where there's gold to be made, there's always pirates that want to steal it. Be careful. We'll look out for pirates. Those darn pirates. Nobody likes them. Nope. Especially not us. Uh oh. You know what we like even less? Random encounters. I love random encounters. Do you? Yeah. Well, there's razor beaks here. Ooh. Do you love those? I do. <gasps> now I just need to remember where we need to go. A thunderstorm's not happy, though. Oh. What's this? A random encounter. <laughs> But what was behind the random encounter? What's behind random encounter number one? <laughs> a brand new car! And a new kind of looper. A, a U-looper. -looper. Look, it's Stonehenge. Ma of Tardis. Ma of Tardis, indeed. It's basically Stonehenge. Basically Stonehenge. Hmm. 
I don't think there's anything at the actually at the Mount of Tardis. Is there a jam? That chunk of metal is huge. Beneath it is the Maw of Tardis. It's an entrance to a series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the Yellow Gigas, as well as the Yellow Crystal. For the audience at home, got a Tardis on my shirt right now. Oh, you! I see what you did there. The seal was built by my people after the rains of destruction in order to contain the Yellow Gigas. Now the Yellow Gigas lies dormant. Good. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gigas can't get out, but it also means that we can't get in. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we can get through the seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move! The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death. We got a battle. Oh, God, I shoot. I need to stop doing that, bro. I know. <laughs> you were on a muffin kick earlier, so... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's, uh... Hey, Steven. Mm -hmm. You got the silver cup. This is white. Really? I guess. I guess that means that 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 I can't. S this is also white. Nope. That's silver. You monster. <laughs> you're gonna purple. And you're gonna red. I read that in a book somewhere. I said that earlier, too. <laughs> and I've probably said it before. Probably said it a lot. You're gonna spirit charge. You're gonna focus. You got a critical hit. Hmm. These enforcers are tough. Ish. I don't think they'll last another round. Once we get the rain of swords down on them. Also Drachma. Yeah, Drachma's there too. <laughs> hey. Rude. Rude Goldberg machine. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Steve. Lamb okay. burst. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Vice, you can you can attack now. There you go. Oh, buddy. Ah. Useful. Good critical, man. Good critical. Probably hurt a lot since he's got a drill for a hand. Drill him. I haven't used that in a while, have we? Have we ever used it? Yeah. Didn't work, though. Ah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Glad we used it. Yeah. We do a good job at this hey, game. Hey, Yeah! Job, Proud of you. And with that... The Lambda Burst will never be used again. We... We surrender! Please don't kill us! Tell us how to open the seal! And we'll let you live! Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> Threaten to kill someone. Sassy. <laughs> <laughs> That's impossible. Our entire army couldn't open it. Our commanders aren't concerned with the Yellow Crystal right now because it's already in Valua and it's safe from you. Hmm... That makes sense. They'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think that this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? They're preparing for the raid on Nazrad. <gasps> what? Baloo is going to start a war with Nazar? Again? I I think so. 
I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? Rachnum is here? Answer me! I... I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday and there were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rachnum. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time. But now it's your turn to follow me. Well, doesn't look like we'll be able to get to the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma. We'll go with you. Very well. Now the time has come for me to finally face Rachnum. He was the reason that I got the harpoon cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him. Or die trying. 